So we had a freezer that needed to be thawed out, de-iced and cleaned out. These blueberries were the last things in the freezer. And so today I'm gonna make them into blueberry and lemon syrup. I have to be honest, I never realized how expensive fruit syrups were in the store. I never purchased them. Each jar made at home cost me about $3.85, so just under $4 per jar. This is with the fancy blueberries that we had. Store-bought comparatives to the recipe that I did anyway that were somewhat natural were well over $15, and $15 was the lower end of the price range, which I was shocked when I was looking up prices and trying to figure out how much money I actually saved at home, which was a lot now that I know how much they are in the stores. The blueberry syrup that we are making today is just blueberries, lemons, sugar, and water. There's no food dyes, there's no thickeners, and there's no artificial anything it is what a fruit syrup should be versus what you would read in the stores so this is a water bath canning recipe it goes by fairly quickly so i am getting my water bath canner set up on my stove i am going to do pint jars so i fill it up to the level that i need it for pint jars and then i also got my jar soaking in some hot vinegar water while we start the syrup now my berries were frozen so I am actually going to let them thaw out a little bit. I have those on medium heat right now. They need to thaw out a little bit before we add the other ingredients. So the berries are halfway thawed at this point. Right now I am adding the zest of one lemon and three limes, although I do suggest just using two lemons and we are gonna use the juice to those lemons too. The lemons just taste better. The limes didn't really add much flavor. If you really wanna use flavor or limes for your flavor, you can, that's not gonna affect the recipe too much. It's just, you're probably gonna have to just play around with the measurements of how many limes you need to use. After you get all that zest in there, you are gonna add your water and your lemon juice. Now I use the water to get the zest off of my grater, as you can tell, that worked very well. You are gonna need two and a half cups of water. Then we're gonna need the juice of the two lemons or four tablespoons of bottled lemon juice. You can use whatever you have on hand or whatever makes you comfortable. I actually used both. I used the juice of this lemon and then I used about two tablespoons of bottled lemon juice. I actually ended up using maybe about five or six tablespoons of lemon juice because I really wanted that lemon flavor to come through. But use whatever you have on hand and whatever makes you comfortable with canning these blueberries. It is generally recommended that you use lemon juice with blueberries even though there are when you can blueberries whole you don't need lemon juice but we are making a syrup a blueberry and lemon syrup so yes please add some lemon juice every syrup that we are using we are keeping the blueberries in the syrup so those can be used in different things too some of the ways you can use this syrup is in sparkling water. You can add it to lemonade. Obviously, you can use it for pancake, waffle, or muffin toppings. You can put it on ice cream. You can also put it in fruit salads, mixed coffee drinks, homemade salad dressings. You can even replace this with the maple syrup and homemade whipped cream. And then the berries, of course, can go into smoothies or cakes or muffins or whatever. It's pretty versatile. And if you ever have a bunch of berries that you need to just put up on the shelf, this is a perfect way to do it. So now I am smashing the berries. So I am not expecting these berries to stay whole. I do want their juices to come out as much juices as I can get in, get out of them. And then after I smash them up a little bit, stir everything around, I'm adding my sugar. You are going to want to use at least two cups of sugar. I am going to tell you to do this to taste though, because if you want a sweeter syrup, then go ahead and add more sugar. 
two cups was just enough. It wasn't tart or sour and I could taste both blueberries and lemon. So at this point, we are almost done with the recipe to be quite honest, but at this point, really do some taste testing and make sure it's how you like it between the sugar and you can even add more lemon juice. Like I said, I added more, ended up adding more lemon juice. Once it tastes good, bring your mixture up to a simmer. Let it simmer for five minutes, especially if you use frozen berries. This will make sure that all the berries and all the juice and everything in the pot is hot because we do need it hot to go into the canner. At this point, bring your jars out, let them drip dry a little bit, and you can see how this is not jam. It is liquid. This is what we're looking for. Home can syrup is thin. Um, stuff in the store, they add thickeners and all that. We are not doing any sort of thickener. This is what it's supposed to look like. Pretty much like juice, to be quite honest. But now it is time to fill your jars so we left the berries in here if you haven't noticed i did not strain some blueberry syrup recipes are going to tell you to strain the berries i just could not bear the thought of putting these berries back into my freezer somewhere so i left them in there so we since the blueberries are in it is a half inch headspace in the end, your jar should be about a quarter of, maybe even a third of berries and the rest of it juice. So it should be, or syrup rather, should be mostly syrup in the jar, but half inch headspace. Now I know that sometimes some berries just don't have them in that much juice to let go of. So if you really need to make the headspace, you could always add hot water to make the headspace on top of the jars once you've filled them all up with your mixture. All right, so now the hard part is over. All we are gonna do is wipe our rims very well, make sure they are very clean, put our lids on, put our bands on finger tight, and then load them up into the water bath canner. Your water bath canner should be nice and warm, if not hot at this point. This syrup with the blueberries in it needs to be water bath canned for 15 minutes. Again, I will say to follow the instructions to your specific water bath canner for proper use, but it should be at a rolling boil for 15 minutes. Then you're gonna let them sit on a dry tea towel for at least 12 hours without touching them. It is so tempting to go around and try to pop the lids down, but if you want a proper seal, you really need to let those lids pop down on their own without the help of you going around and popping them down. The next day, I checked the seals by lifting the jars up by the lid itself. It should be able to hold its weight without coming off. It should be a very tight hard bond. You shouldn't be able to pop those off with your hand. You should have to use a can opener, by the way. It is beautiful. So now I have syrup and some berries up on my shelf. I always wash my jars before I put them downstairs. I will make sure my written recipe to this, including ways to use this blue glare syrup and some frequently asked questions is included in the link below. I really hope this video helps. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.